Okay, time to go to work. And that was my alarm telling me to go to work. Do I have any more? No, okay, I'm good. Off we go to work. Three quarters of a mile. All right, we're back, and today we're doing something a little different from the last few, last, I don't know how many recordings I've done, but the last however many recordings I've done, I am doing a recording of my commute to work. So uh, this should be kind of different. Whoa, squirrel. Hopefully, GPS won't try to talk over me too much, but it might. Oh man, I just, so it's about 2.30, I've been, I've been up since about like 10 or 11-ish, maybe, and um, so I am halfway through editing the sixth recording of my Batman Arkham Asylum playthrough. It's the longest recording yet, it's like four hours long, I'm halfway through exactly, like two hours. Just got past the Killer Croc part where you're jumping around trying to dodge things. Or not dodge things, but sneak around and try to not make too much noise and um, get eaten. I still am not, sh I'm not sure when I'm going to, how I'm going to edit these videos and how I'm going to release them because um, I'm busy editing a whole bunch of other things first. But all of those things are not real life things. They're all video games and they're not car related pretty much. Some of the some of the things are car games, but the whole, but when I originally made this channel, I wanted to make videos like this, the one that you're watching right now. And so should this take a higher priority? I don't know. I don't know how to organize myself with this. I don't know what to do first. Turn the traction control. That is still Still fun, still fun. I think I think the famous thing that gets most people, especially in rear wheel drive cars, isn't right turns, but left turns, and usually at intersections. The infamous left turn at an intersection. You know, people in vets and <laughs> Mustangs, you'll see those guys spinning out a lot because you'll be trying to give it 100% throttle through the, t through the corner, thinking somehow it's going to grip, and it's not. Next thing you know, you're sideways in a crowd if you're a Mustang, or a tree if you're a vet, basically. The next car I wanna get is rear-wheel drive as well, the BMW M346. Um, this car is all-wheel drive, and while I've gotten this car to kick out the back end before, I, I, I have no idea what it feels like to drive a rear-wheel drive car. I've never driven one before, I, I don't think. No, I haven't. I've driven, the first car I ever drove was when I was like 15 or 16. And it wasn't really for much. I never went more than like 10 or 15 miles an hour because um, I didn't have a permit. And I wasn't even living in the U.S. It, this is a complicated story. And so it was, it was my grandfather's Mountaineer. So I was driving that. Okay. Low-end torque V8. Very, very interesting. Good practice as a first time. It wasn't that hard. Parking wasn't difficult for my first few tries. Um, then after that, when I finally got to take driving lessons, I drove a Honda Civic at the driving school I went to. Um, which of course was not exciting. It, you know, it wasn't it wasn't an SI or anything like that or anything special. And it was front wheel drive, obviously. So it wasn't, you know, just to keep going. Um, and then after that, my father got a 2016 BMW 340i X-Drive, which I have shown before on the channel, um, which has also recently been tuned with a, a Dynan tuning package um, to have 400 plus horsepower. I think it's 414 or something like that. 414, I think, brake horsepower or something, or engine. Horsepower at the engine, I think. Not at the wheels or anything. I'm not, I'm, meh, I'm not sure. And so normally the three series is rear wheel drive, but that one's all wheel drive. So when I practiced in that car, and I practiced a lot in it, that was all wheel drive as well. So I never found out what rear wheel drive was like in that car either because it was a special model that he wanted. And then of course, there's the WRX, which I am driving right now. Continue. And um, so far I've got to say, this is probably the most fun. And I'll tell you why this is more fun than the, than the BMW. For one, I've, okay, so this is probably also, the first one is kind of a theory. It's probably because I have more freedom to do whatever I want with this car. 
And second, something to do with the way the transmission is set up, or the, the, the accelerators and what, like the pedals, you know? Because um, with the 340i, with the 3 Series, um, it's paddle shifters. So which means it's the, uh, kind of like a semi-automatic, or whatever you want to call it. So there's no clutch involved, and so all you have to do is put your foot on the accelerator, and um, you really have to give it a lot more uh, input to get the car to do anything. Whereas with this, 20% throttle in this car, or hell, even just like, yeah, 20. It tells you the percentage that I'm using the acceler accelerator at there. 20% um, in this car is like 40 or 50 in his because uh, his pedals are electronic. And so I'm guessing that means that it's linear. Like there's not, like, like if you were to push, um, 10% of the way on the accelerator would only do 10% of the throttle. If you did 100%, it would do 100%. It wouldn't do, wouldn't do it at um, the wrong place. Like if you were to press the pedal halfway down, it wouldn't do only 20% throttle or 80 or whatever. With mine, you um, you don't have to give it as much to get it to do stuff, which I kind of like, and I'm also used to it, obviously. Um, you can you can with, because it's not a electric you, there's a little bit of resistance you can feel the the, the the pedal moving much more there's a bit more response so there is I can see why people could argue for the um, you know the driver feel um, when things start to go all electric with pedals and steering wheels and stuff because I don't think this is an electric steering wheel his steering wheel is so you you feel very little resistance when you're moving the wheel around so is this person going to find the speed limit or is it just a mystery to them? Because I have to, I do have to go to work, but we're going 10 miles an hour under the speed limit. Okay. Well, we're this, thanks to them, this video is going to be a little bit longer than uh, what it normally would have been had there not been a slow driver on the road. So you guys, I guess, can be grateful. And the, look at the look at the weather contrast to the last video's weather because I'm pretty sure in the last video it was like sunny and clear and warm and it was awesome and nice I got really hot in my car eventually I had to take off my jacket just to stay comfortable and now it's it's cooled down again it's gonna be a, be a little while before spring comes spring is coming are you guys all excited for the last season of Game of Thrones I know very little about it. I haven't really been. I haven't. I haven't been clicking on any of the articles or links or anything like that. Like about the mm, spoilers or theories and stuff. Oh well, hey, one of my friend's brothers used to have a Mustang like that, except it was yellow. It had the same kind of decals. I have no idea if that came up on the glasses. That was a great test for the auto focusing technology in the glasses. Oh, did this person finally find the speed limit? Ah, there's a thing in the road. What the heck even was that? So, I don't know if I've said this before, but the job I'm going to, I just work at a, a grocery store, a Snooks, and I'm just a bagger, and I also just do whatever else people need me to, need me to do. Um, and it's it's a pretty easy job. And so for me, my last job, as the guys may or may not know, if you watched any of the previous Motor, Motor Madness videos, I was a security guard at the University of Iowa. And so I patrolled uh, the library from three to seven in the morning, So and the library was closed, so it was just patrols with very little human contact, and then my other shift was um, a dispatcher for a service they have called Night Ride, which is where, which, which allows students to have safe rides from wherever they are to wherever they need to go at night, um, within like a certain designated zone, and a pretty big one too. And so, yeah. Um, but, you know, those, those jobs were, those shifts, while they weren't as long as, um, my current ones at the grocery store, they still felt a lot more exhausting um, than this job because there was very little human contact um, to keep time progressing. <laughs> With this, you know, as a bagger, you're constantly seeing different people having different conversations, so things, for the most part, stay fresh. So, yeah, that's good. All right, the slow person is gone. I 
I still, I, I still just really enjoy going into boost, getting into boost in this car. It's just, it's so, what is that person doing running across the road? It's just, it's a lot more fun than I expected it to be. I always thought turbo lag, the heck, that doesn't sound right. You want to have as little lag as possible. Ultimate acceleration and all that crap. But for a car that's a daily driver, then it's just about being fun, feeling that slingshot, I get it, man. I get it. Freaking get it. It's cool.